Good evening, everyone. Uh, myself, Anthony T. Uh, because of the long days of lockdown, um, uh, as per the go order, I would like to impart my teaching lessons, uh, especially for the uh, students of the government schools, as they are not having any classes still now because of this uh, 21 days lockdown. So I would like to help them uh, through my uh, simple ways of teaching the basic concepts of uh, ecosystem uh, which you will find uh, in the class 5 EVS subject textbook it is of uh, lesson 2 you will find there the topic is ecosystem so uh, my dear students uh, for your convenience uh, I'll be speaking out in my mother tongue also so that you can check it out if you don't understand I will be speaking through the Kirby language also sometimes uh, I will speak both the language English as well as Kirby so here uh, first of all uh, uh, we will discuss the basic topics of ecosystem so what is ecosystem or what do you mean by ecosystem ecosystem is a functional unit of uh, nature uh, where living organisms uh, interact each other and also uh, with the physical environment. It is a functional unit of nature which uh, it interact among themselves. Both the biotic component and the abiotic component together they depend upon each other uh, to help the uh, self-dependent adaptable uh, self-dependent in order to make an adaptable ecosystem in an environment or biosphere so uh, so in an ecosystem in an ecosystem my dear students uh, first of all you have to know the simple terms like uh, biotic component and abiotic component there are two components hemia component that okay. ecosystem along okay. first of all okay. there are two types of component they are Biotic component and abiotic component. Biotic component, polo tante laban ekopilo. Living, living organisms, living things. La, achi theke do api anke biotic component polo. Lapan abiotic component, polo tante lang ekopilo. It is a non living thing. Non living thing, polo tante achi theke abe api anke lang lang ekopilo abiotic component polo. La la. First of all, uh, uh, I will give the examples of a biotic component. What are the examples of bio a biotic component? Actually, take away the non-living thing. Non-living thing example ke lalo, they are air, water, soil, heat, and light. They are the biotic component. Actually, take away the non-living thing lalo. See tamay, you see the examples of biotic components. Here we have the examples of biotic component. Actually, take it off the plants, thank you, thank you, animals, mara mara na pi bars go. Of the microorganisms, the microorganisms like bacteria, all these are the biotic components. So, the interaction between both the biotic components and a biotic component uh, through the interaction of both of these components make up the ecosystem. Latum, hemia component in Tarlinga join it. See, is a ecosystem bonaido. Sita me, in order to have an ecosystem completely or a well equipped ecosystem, you have to have first of all the producers. Producers belong to Chinilo. Producers or autotrophs. Autotrophs in the simple times uh, terms are I will explain to you. Auto means self and trops mean. Uh, Production, self-production, autotrophs. Autotrophs, examples of autotrophs are like uh, a green plants. Autotrophs is defined that those organisms which uh, produces its own food with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, mineral salt, which they get from the soil as well as from the atmosphere they then the 
after undergoing the chemical process, they will produce the carbohydrate or glucose in, uh, with the presence of chlorophyll in the green plants. Through the process of photosynthesis, they will make uh, food for themselves. They can make uh, food for themselves. Green plants and some other uh, photosynthetic bacteria are included in these terms. So, in an ecosystem, we have first of all the producers. Producers come first, and then mm, it will be followed by, in a sequence cell way, it will be followed by uh, the primary consumers. Primary consumers like uh, a herbivorous animal will come out here. Then after the herbivorous animal, carnivorous animal, uh, car car carnivorous organisms or carnivorous animals will come here. Examples like um, lion, tiger, and all those. And uh, as today is the introduction part, I I will explain to you all the basic terms, uh, uh, in, um, especially uh, for the easy understandable topics for the ecosystem then the omnivorous organism the omnivorous organism is that uh, those uh, organisms or animals which eat both plants and animals which is dependent on both plants and animals for its uh, food or nutrient for its survival are known as uh, omnivorous organisms or, or omnivorous animals examples like for instance men Many both uh, uh, food and uh, uh, many both uh, mm, man is dependent both on plants and animals. Mm. So uh, in the basics of uh, uh, ecosystem, and uh, then the, we have got after that one we have got uh, decomposers. Then all this uh, sequential all these sequential levels of consumers and the producers they will go through in one unidirectional way uh, to recycle again to recycle again obviously gaseous uh, cycle uh, in decomposition or decomposers or the or the decomposers uh, are there to uh, decompose all the organic uh, um, organic matter or substances into inorganic form so that uh, uh, the inorganic materials or matter uh, can be extracted by the producers again to recycle the gases cycle again. So uh, these are the uh, common terms uh, for ecosystem. So, and again, uh, here I will uh, describe to you about the structure of ecosystem. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the structure of ecosystem as well. Structure of ecosystem, uh, we have, uh, first of all, uh, terrestrial ecosystem and uh, aquatic ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem is uh, uh, divided into four types. divided into four types. They are uh, forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, desert ecosystem, and a man-made ecosystem or monoculture it's called. And the other side, uh, if, if you look onto the uh, marine ecosystem, uh, you will get um, the dividends of two. Hini do poharata, hini bhaktubo. Uh, aquatic ecosystem is the aquatic ecosystem ke kopi lo lagay, lada kiki bhagam ikay, fresh water ecosystem pe, salt water ecosystem ko bhagam thuko, fresh water ecosystem ko water de ponds, lake, rivers, high longo, lapen hapo salt water ecosystem ke kopi lo, pone pone marine lapen is is di bangi kopi lo, marine you will find and the other one you will have stories, stories tanan tum longo. These are the freshwater ecosystem and saltwater ecosystem. So, uh, the very best examples, if you want to cite out or if you want to um, 
make any student uh, easily understandable regarding the basic concept of ecosystem you can take the example of pond ecosystem okay pond ecosystem fishery ecosystem or on to take a of fishery to follow is see fishery as on of pond to learn the hada 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 lo to learn the change in to hada phytoplankton lo po la pen land land you will get uh, small small plants uh, small small water plants you will get there in the ponds feed feeded by the um, insects many insects and all zooplankton will be fed by the small small plant phytoplankton haikela haitum chopo that's it for the zooplankton it will be consumed again by the small fish or the pet poles chopo aso tum hai la tum ko la zooplankton na tum han chodun thupo la tum angela small fish tum han sa me okay the tum chodun thupo the large will say will be eaten for the small fish like this in the sequential way it gives the diagram of food chain which the food energy is transferred from one level of consumers to the other level of consumers but in the last level of uh, consumers you will get uh, decomposers decomposers is that uh, all the organic materials or organic matter will be decomposed uh, by the help of microorganism bacteria or fungi all those uh, organisms uh, will be decomposed by the bacteria and uh, it will be decomposed or it will be broken down into the simpler forms into very fine molecules in a simpler forms with, with the help of their enzymes in their body then the fine particles will be or, or the fine molecules will be consumed by them again there are different different mechanisms of uh, um, consuming of food or ways of uh, getting nutrient in all the organisms in decomposers the complex food material or organic material or, or organic or dead organic matter will be decomposed from the complex food matter into a very simpler uh, forms into a very fine molecules fine in, in, in organic molecules and they will uh, be getting the nutrient from it then the, those left particles those left uh, fine molecules or or in or in organic materials will be again consumed uh, by the plant again likewise the gaseous cycle is also recycled and from there we with the help of the roots of the plant all the inorganic materials from the soil or from the underground the plants will be taken up from there and help in the process of photosynthesis to produce its own food and in the same way you will uh, get to know that one uh, like uh, the heterotropic uh, nutrition heterotropic nutrition uh, one is there which is i left to explain the three tivors the three tivors is that uh, examples i will give you art bomb art bomb that he long guys ya the three tivors to that alama ko pelo he long atom ke thank be our wo hai thank be our wo ta me ए कलेते हला बाबी आर बो तमे किक्लो तान किथि ताना पसिन तुम चोदन पो ला ला तुम चोदन पो ला तुम के डायरेक्ट चोपो डिगी तोन द डेथ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर हम डेथ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड वन एग्जांपल्स आई कैन गिव यू ऑफ द थ्री टी वर्ड्स दैट इज दिस वन द नंग तुम ला चाइनो मा ही लोंग तमे यू विल फाइंड द दिस वन ना ए You 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 will find the petals in a cow dung or buffalo dung also. That is also one of the best examples of the trivers. 
So, um, my dear friends, uh, I will not uh, go into a very much descriptive mode of my teaching now. Uh, I'm teaching you only the basics part. So, I will let you teach another part in, in my next episode. So, if you like my videos, uh, please like. Uh, so, if you like my videos, please subscribe and share among with your friends. And let's learn more fruitfully in this lockdown period. So, thank you.